Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 207 in the series of basic math. Today we will have our seventh video in the series of 15 on the topic of Venn diagram. The problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look, shall we? We are told that we, we surveyed, we, we, we are told that a survey was done, a survey was conducted of 900 students. 900 students on college campuses were asked as to what they do in their spare time for fun. What is their leisure activity? What is their leisure activity? What do you, what do you like to do? Turns out 40% of people said they like listening to music in the, as, as a leisure activity. 30% said they like to play sports. And 75% of them said that they like to get high, whoa, high as a kite. Oh, no, 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 they don't want to get high as a kite. No, 75% of people did not say they like to get high as a kite. That's not what we said. They like to, they like to fly a kite. How about that? That's much better. Okay, so they are into kiting. And no one likes none. Furthermore, we are told that no one likes none. This is a very important sentence. No one likes none. What does it mean? It means that... And everybody, all 900 of the students said that they like at least one of these three activities. One more time, no one likes none. In other words, everybody likes at least one activity of these three activities. That's, that's, that's another way of saying, another way of saying this thing is that everybody who was surveyed indicated at least one of these three activities as their favorite activity, either listening to music, playing sports or getting high as a kite or flying a kite. Do you understand? 35% 35% like exactly two activities. Of these people who were surveyed, 35% of the people said that they like exactly two of these three activities. The question is very simple, very straightforward. The question simply is how many of these students who were surveyed indicated that they like exactly one of these three activities. Not two activities, not all three of the activities, but exactly one activity. Right there. Here are the answer to I say 315, 375, 390, 540 and 585. I'll give you now five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Pause the video, solve the problem yourself and then compare your work against the work that we will do together in a few seconds time. Okay? I'll get out for you. Well, let's see what we can do, shall we? Let's see what we can do. Let's add up all these figures here. Now, they're telling us that we have 900 students. It's not necessary for us to waste our time trying to figure out 40% of 900, 30% of 900, 75% of 900. It's not necessary. It'll be an utter sheer waste of time. Pretend that there are only 100 students. We'll multiply our answer at the end by 9. If you start out with 100 students, the calculation will be faster. And at the end, whatever answer we get, we just multiply it by 9 and there, you, there we'll have it. In other words, we'll magnify our answer 9 times by, by, by a factor of 9 and we'll have our 900 people. Do you understand? So let's pretend there are 100 students. So we are told that 40 of them, 40 of them just like listening to music. Let's do it here. 40 of them like listening, uh, listening to music. 30 of them like to play sports. 30 of them like to play sports. 75 of them, 75 of them like to fly a kite because they are very nice kids. Five, we have five, three plus seven is ten, and fourteen. Unless I made a mistake, I'm coming up with one hundred and forty-five. We are further told, we are further told that thirty-five of these students, listen very carefully, this is where this is where things get tricky, this is where you have to understand the problem. We are further told that 35 of them like exactly two activities. What does it tell us? That there are 35 people out of this 100 people, out of this 100 people, 35 of them, we are told, like exactly two activities. Well, if they like two activities, then when we counted the number of people who like, no, when we counted the number of people who said that they like listening to music, there were 40 people. There were 40 such people out of 100 who said that they like listening to music. Then we ask the same 100 people if you, if you, if you like to play sports in your spare activity. And 30 of them said, yes, we like to play sports. 
perhaps I did not set up the problem in the beginning properly. And then we asked the same 900 people, okay. So in other words, a survey was done which contained three questions on it. Do you like to play? Do you like to listen to music in your spare time? Question number one. Question number two, do you like to listen to, do you like to play sports in your spare time? 30, 30 people out of 100 said yes. And 75 of them said yes, they are into kiting. Yes, they like to fly a kite out of 100. This number that you see, 145, contains these 35 people who are members of two groups. These 35 people, first they said that they like one activity, and then the same 35 people were counted again because they also like the second activity. Because we are, here we are counting the people who are, in, who are engaging in one of these activities. The people who are engaging in two activities are counted twice. First as a member of one group, then the same 35 as a member of other group. There is a double counting going on. There is double counting going on because they, played, they, they are engaging in two activities. Because there is double counting going on, to account for it, we have to subtract 135 from it. We have to subtract a 35 from it because we counted these people twice. To account for that, we have to take away 35 people. Now we are left with 110. But it still does not change the fact that we are starting out with 100 people. We are starting out with 100 people. At the end, we end up with 110. 100, 100 people is what we are dealing with. At the end, we end up with 110. We still have a discrepancy of 10. What does this 10 tell us? What does this 10 tell us? Now this is the part. If you are having still, if you are still having trouble, if you are still having trouble understanding this thing, that tells me that you have not been watching these videos in the proper sequence. On day number five, on five and six, I believe it, or four and five, I think four and five. On on four and five, this is the seventh video in the, in the series of fifteen. In four and five, we learn the concept of double counting and triple counting. This is where we learn how to deal with this number here. What does this ten tell us? This 10 tells us that we have five people. We have five people who were first counted as people who like to play music. And then the same five people who were counted again as people who like to play sports. And the same five people were counted again for the third time as the people who like to fly a kite. These five people appeared in our counting as 15 people. This has nothing to do with this 35. This 35 is the people who like exactly two activities. Exactly two. You see, that's why this word, this word is important. These five people like exactly three activities, and therefore they were counted first as a group of people who are into music, and the same five people were counted again as people who play sports, and the same five people were counted again as, as the people who like to fly kite. As you can see, they were counted at 15. Because of the fact that five people were counted as 15, we will have a discrepancy of 10. That tells us we have five people who play three sports. There are five people who are engaged in all three sports. Let's make a note of it. Five, five play all three. Well, not play, but rather engage in all three. Five like all three. Five of them like all three. Let's do our Venn diagram now, shall we? I left very little room for myself for the Venn diagram. Why don't, we, why don't we erase this thing here? Let's just make a note here so that we can erase all of this thing. We have 40, 30 and 75. We have 40 for music. We have 30 for sports and we have 75 for, for kite. That's it. No one likes none. That means everybody is engaged in at least one activity. 35 of them like exactly two. We, We'll leave that alone so that we have it, and let's just raise all of this stuff so we have room here. Music, sports, and kite. So we have 40. 30 and 75. Okay, stay, stay with me in that story. It's very important that you stay. Let's erase this part also. We already have here 5 like all 3. So I can make this circle a little bit better. Okay. You with me? So this is 75. Let's begin the process, shall we? 
first thing first. First thing is that we were told that 35 of these 100 people are engaged in exactly two activities. Okay, listen very carefully. 35 of them are engaged in exactly two activities. How do we represent that in the Venn diagram? They do not tell you which two activities they are engaged in. They do not tell us which two activities of these three that they, they like. They just, we are just told that 35% are engaged in two activities. When they give you such an open-ended uh, statement, there's nothing to freak out about. It's up to us now to decide where to place them. It's up to us. We can put all 35 of them here as the people who like music and sports. Can we put 35 of them here? Think, think for a second. Can we put the 35 here? The answer is no. Answer is no, because how can, if 30 people like to play sports, how can 35 of them like to play sports and music this, is, this number is less than that. Do you understand? If 30 people like to do, like, like, to, like to engage in, uh, like to listen to music, then out of those 30, 35 cannot also like, this. what this says is that 30 people play sports, 30 people play, play sports, and of those 30 people, of those 30 people, 35 of them also like to listen to music. It makes no sense. This number cannot be higher than that. Can we place, can we place the 35 here? Answer again is no. Answer again is no because what this tells us is that there are 30 people, there are 30 people who like to play sports and of those 30 people, 35 of them also like to play, also like to fly kite. But how can 35 people out of 30 like to fly kite? 35 is more than 30. 35 cannot go here. Can we put 35 here? Yeah, that would work. That would be just fine. So let's do, it, let's do it this way first and then we'll do the other way, shall we? Let's do it here this way first. As soon as we put a 35 here, we have 40 people who like to listen to music. We have 40 people who like to listen to music, of which 35 also like to fly kite. As soon as we put a 35 here, we have to take away 35 from here. Let's change the color so we can see it. So the 40 will, become 30, 40 will become 5 because we subtract 35 from it and this 75 after we take away 35 from it will become 40. That's it. At the end now, we're not quite done yet, we also know that 5, 5 of them like all 3. 5 of the people like all 3. So we put a 5 here because they like all 3. This is the all 3 part. They like all 3 activities. Which means these 5 people are from here. There are 5 people who like music that are sitting here. And they also like, these five people also like sports and kiting. We take away five from here and then now there is zero. Are you with me? We take away five from there and it becomes 25. There were 30 people who like to play sports, of which five also likes to do music and kiting. As soon as we put a five here, we have to this 40 becomes 35. That's it, there is your answer. There is your answer. The question was, how many of them, how many of them are engaged in exactly one activity? Here's your answer. This is zero. There is nobody who likes just the music. There are 25 people who just like sports and there are 35 people who like kiting. That's it. We're done. That's it. We answered the question. 30, there are 35 people who like only the kiting. There are 25 people who like only the sports. So here we go. 25 is only sports and 35 is only Kiting and that's a 60. Now remember this is 60%, 60% of 900. The question is how many? So all we have to do is figure out 60% of 900. That's very straightforward. 60% of 900 is very straightforward. 450 is the 50% of 900 and 10% of 900 will be 90. So 90 is equal to 10% and therefore we are done. 540 is the 60%. Turns out that there are 540 people. There were 540 people in the survey who indicated only one activity as their favorite pastime? Answer is e. answer is D. What we're going to do now, just just to make it interesting, we're going to redo this problem, and we're going to instead of putting all 35 here, instead of putting all 35 people who like who like to engage in exactly two activities, instead of putting all 35 of them here, let's distribute them a little bit more evenly, just to make it interesting. Shall we? Let's do it again. I'm going to raise it now. I'm going to give you a second here before I raise it. And when we do that, we'll see that we'll get the same answer. We'll have 60% we'll have of the people who are engaged in exactly one activity, but this distribution will be different, obviously. This distribution will be different. Let's do it here. Ready? 
take with you. Okay, we are take, I'm taking too long. So here's our music, here's our sports, and here's our kiting. Music, sports, and kiting. We had 40, 30, and we had 40, 30, and 75. So this time we'll do it fast, but we'll also give you some practice. So we have 35 people who are engaged in exactly two activities. So let's put 35 here. I'm just going to divide them evenly. How about 10, 10, and 30, 15? 10, 10, and 15. Let's just keep it simple. 10, 10, and 15. That should cause no problem because 10 is less than 30. As soon as we put a 10 here, 30 becomes 20. As soon as we put a 10 here, 40 becomes 30. As soon as we put a 10 here, 75 will become 65. So that 10 is taken care of. Now let, let's look at this 10. What? Let me start again. Just, let's not do 10 at a time. It will be, it'll be, it will not be very, it will be very difficult to keep track of our work. Let me start again. As soon as we put distribute this 10, 10, and 15, 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 15 is 35. We have our 35. As soon as we distribute this figure, see, we have to go back and adjust this 40. This 40, out of this 40 people who like to play music, they also like sports. 10 of them also like sports. The 15 of them also like kiting. 10 plus 15 is 25. We have to subtract 25 from 40. Let's do it in one step. We subtract 15 plus 10, 25 out of 40. We end up with 15. As soon as we put a 10 here and 10 here, the 30 will become 10. As soon as we put a 15 here and 10 here, that's 25. We have to take away 25 from 75 and it will become 50. Are you with me so far? Now we go back and put a 5 people who like all 3 activities. 5 people who like all 3 activities. And as soon as we put a 5 people who like all 3 activities, we have to go back and adjust our figures one more time. We have to go back and adjust our figures one more time. This 10 will become 5. This 15 will become 10. This five will become, uh, this fifty will become forty-five, because they are all coming from these people. People who like kiting. Out of the people who like kiting, five of them like all three activity. Fifteen of them like music and kiting, and ten of them like sports and sports and kiting. And then there are forty-five who like just the kiting. Let's put it up here now. So this ten here, I'm going to circle them and we're going to write them. Ten of them. Let me change the color to black. It's easier to read. Ten of them like music only. Five of them like sports only. And 45 of them like kiting only. You see the distribution has changed but the answer has not changed. 45 plus 5 is 50, 50 plus 10 is 60, you still get 60. Now keep in mind that this 60 is a 60% 60 of 900. Once we have 60%, once we have figured out that it's 60% of people once we have figured out that 60% of the people in the survey uh, said that they engage in only one activity, all we have to do at the end is to just multiply, just figure out what 60% of 900 is, instead of worrying about 900 from the very beginning. Worry about the 900 at the very end. 60% of 900 is 540. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.